I'm Insomniac, and this is Don Pablo Costa Rica. If you could only drink one coffee for the next year straight, what would it be? Let me know down in the comments. By the way, info on this coffee can be found down in my video description. So just like the other Don Pablo coffee I did recently, every square inch of this bag is covered in text. Yet none of it has anything to do with the coffee that's in it, except for up here where it says Costa Rica. That's stupid! Let's take a look at the beans. All right, let's see what it smells like. Hmm, I get a lot of sweet cherry. Actually reminds me of Cherry Starburst. Thanks a lot, Starburst Company. A little bit of milk chocolate and potting soil. Okay, so we're gonna brew up some of this Don Pablo Costa Rica with the AeroPress today and see what it smells and tastes like in liquid form. All right, let's see what it smells like. It smells kind of like a house fire, like burning wires and charred furniture. A little bit of dark chocolate, but mostly house fire. All right, let's see what it tastes like. Well, it's big and bold and a little bit salty and a little bit bitter. That's what she said. <laughs> I do have some salted dark chocolate and earth. And a long, dirty finish. That's also what she said. Not on the good one. You're on fire. Really not getting much else. Despite having such large body, it's really not very complex. The bitterness is low level, so not so bad. It's basically just Eh, okay, drinkable. On a scale from one to 10 Mike Tyson's, I'd give it a five. To see if the last Don Pablo coffee I reviewed scored higher, click here.